Roberto asks, is it possible in Outlook desktop, insert an HTML signature? I need to rec uh, to create a signatures email with uh, images and that is visible in right mode also from uh, I don't know that's supposed to be night mode, also from mobile phone. It's certainly possible. I have not done that myself specifically. So but, you're saying uh, there's a chance. Absolutely. <laughs> As a matter of fact, um, hopefully Christian will uh, be able to pick up the article that uh, I yep. gave him a link to and will provide that. It is a step-by-step uh, for a recipe for creating an HTML signature. Yeah, I mean, my my add here. So, so we'll include the link you'll have here in the article um, to that that article. There are, are also third party tools which are not expensive at all that are fantastic. Like I'm a big fan of Exclaimer. Uh, my disclaimer for Exclaimer is that. They are a client. I've worked with them for years uh, as a as a partner, and um, and you know, highly recommend their centralized uh, you know email signature management solution. Um, very low cost for small orgs. It's a great SMB solution, um, and that solves this. And you can do a lot of other cool things that Roberto's not asking for. Like you can actually integrate it in and, and change a signature based on triggers in a in a power uh, uh, automate flow, for example. Um, so there's a lot that you can do to, to automate that. And uh, you can have email signatures that automatically change for your organization based on uh, a campaign that's running. And when the campaign expires or, you know, um, it, it, so it's it's just a really cool application. So there's a lot of ways and I know there's competitive solutions that are out there as well. So I always say it's like you could spend your time going and trying to figure something out and create it yourself or you can go and buy a low cost solution of somebody that's been doing it for years and does it a lot better, more professional than you could do on your own. The, the only hole I'm going to poke, say I'm just good at poking holes and things. The yeah. only hole I'm going to okay. poke in this is those are fantastic and they look nice and they're lovely. Just remember that not all email processing is HTML driven. And so therefore, if you get something that does not parse the HTML properly, your signature is going to end up being about this big. Yeah. So just especially if you're just using embedded images. In. Yep. <laughs> Seven bit UU encoded <laughs> images. Yeah. And so if they put in an HTML signature, are they going to get like these broken image links and all of this other nonsensical text at the bottom of the signature. Yeah, so it makes you wonder, should you be using an HTML signature? I don't know what the default <laughs> is in Outlook, but it, it always looks bad when you see the, the broken image tag. Outlook defaults to HTML, but again, that's if you're linking to an image, that can be a broken image, but if you, you encode the image and put it in line, that'll show up on any HTML viewer. And for those who don't have HTML, it's going to be a block of junk garbage text. So it's broken link or bunch of junk. You know, you kind of have to pick. To be fair, we're in a world now. Now, had this been several years ago, I might not say this, but I think we're in a world where we're almost over that 80% hump, where 80% of people who are interacting with email in some nature are probably doing it in an HTML way. Um, but I still think there are some people who do, you know, use kind of older viewers or whatever, have maybe, um, you know, like if you think about going through um, government restricted things where they don't allow HTML to come through for the parsing reasons, you know, anything that's in a secure environment, some of those types of things have or reasons Or any Unix why based you system it. user. Exactly. And some people all, are just all 10 of them. I've got a friend here locally that, that still <laughs> runs Eudora. So I think I think it depends on your target audience, right? If your target audience is primarily, you know, people who are not going to have an issue with that, you're probably OK. But if you think about who your target audience is and any number of them are going to be people who fit into the criteria of not being able to parse that HTML, then you might want to rethink it. Know your audience. Sorry, my gentle slam there at, at Unix. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is it's HTML true, still that newfangled technology? <laughs> yeah, it's what all the kids are doing these days, Sean. Navi. That HTML. <laughs> <laughs>